Hi, this is Ezra from Ezra'sVoice.com. Today, I'm sharing with you a few pros and cons about using a Google Voice VoIP voicemail. I'll discuss what Google Voicemail sounds like, how long do you have to record a voicemail, and play two samples for you. How many voicemails can you keep on file with Google Voice? Three ways to record a super sounding voicemail on Google Voice. Whether or not to add music and list other videos we've made on Google Voice to assist you. Okay, let's get started. What does Google Voice sound like? The first thing you should know about Google Voice is that it's a VoIP service, Voice Over Internet Protocol. It's an internet-based service. Some like to say cloud-based service. And this definitely rings true when it comes to the quality of sound. It's up there in the clouds a bit, meaning it's not going to sound crystal clear. You will be able to hear a message clearly, but it won't sound like you're listening to a voice coming off of a CD. It'll be a little muddy, but this rings true with most cloud-based services. The quality is low on the totem pole of sound, but hey, this is a free service and you can't beat free, especially when you're a startup or entrepreneur and you want to keep fixed costs to a minimum. If cost is not an issue, simply Google online telephone service and you'll see a list of other free and paid online telephone services you can investigate. We have many clients, big and small, who use Google Voice, and they're from all walks of life. Law practices, real estate, online websites, the list is long, so you'll be in good company. Google Voice is a good service. It just doesn't have all the bells and whistles some paid services do. Okay, more on sound in a second, and some tips on what you can do to get the best sound out of Google. Very quickly, I've created a sample voicemail here for you to listen to, first here in this video, and then you can call Google Voice to hear the exact same message and compare the sound quality. The Google Voice number to call is listed in the video description below. Just one note, don't leave us a message on the Google Voice number. It was created solely for this video. Okay, take a listen. Hi, you've reached a sample Google voicemail created by Ezra'sVoice.com. The purpose of this voicemail is for you to hear what Google sounds like both with and without music. Please don't leave us a message after the beep here because we will not get it. This voicemail was created just for you to hear what it sounds like on Google Voice. If you need to reach us, contact us through our website, Ezra'sVoice.com or call 347-809-5482 in the US. I have to speak fairly fast here because Google only gives you one minute to record a voicemail. Okay, overall, we don't recommend that you add music to Google Voicemail, but if you must, make sure that you test what it sounds like after you upload your audio file. And if it doesn't sound good, just remove the music and use voice only. Okay, now here's a sample with music. Remember that the sound will vary depending on your music choice and your connection to Google Voice. If you get a connection that has static, just call back and record again. Choose wisely, and if you need help, give us a call. Okay, again, to hear what this message sounds like on Google, see the Google number listed below in the video description. We used an MP3 in this example on Google Voice. How long do you have to record a voicemail? Google allows you to record up to one minute on your voicemail. This amounts to about 150 words if you're speaking at a normal speaking rate, according to the BBC. I have fit up to 175 to 180-ish, depending on how fast I think certain parts of a script can be read. A maximum of 150 words is a good number to work with when deciding what you want to say. 75 words is around the 30-second mark, and 150 words is close to the one-minute mark. If you're a business and want to project a professional image, consider writing down your script before recording and time yourself to see how long your script is. Writing your script down prior to recording will allow you to see whether you're including all pertinent information and will also show you how many words you have. This will give you an idea of where you can slow down, speed up, or if you need to go back to the drawing board to write a new script. At Ezra'sVoice.com, we write and record scripts for clients and we can do this for you too. Just reach out and touch us online or give us a call. We also created a video to help you write your own voicemail. See a link in the description below. Okay, to give you examples of how much information you can fit in both a short and long voicemail, we've created two sample voicemails, one short, 75 words, and one long, 150 words, both very professional. Take a listen. This voicemail is 75 words. Hello, and thank you for calling the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. That's the power of Home Depot. Our hours of operation are from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All sales associates are busy assisting other customers. At the tone, leave your name, number, and a brief message, and your call will be returned before the close of business today. To browse our catalog or place an order, visit homedepot.com. Thank you. The following voicemail is 150 words. 
Hello, and thank you for calling Habitat for Humanity, building one home at a time. If putting a roof over the heads of mankind is your calling, you've reached us at just the right time to volunteer. Come shuffle paper, hammer nails, lift wood, negotiate better prices. Use your skills and talents, all for the higher good. Our office hours are from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you've reached this message during business hours, we're putting the final touches on yet another home. But we want to take your call. So at the tone, please leave your name, number, and a brief message, and we will return your call within 24 hours. Alternatively, you can learn about volunteer opportunities, donate, and contact us through our website at www.habitat.org. We look forward to breaking new ground with you. Thank you for calling and have a great day. Multiple voicemails. Google allows you to have more than one voicemail on file. Here we have at least 16 greetings. So you can have, for example, a busy message, an after hours message, a holiday greeting, etc. You can label each one and manually select one to play when you want. Note, I said manually select. At the time of the making of this video, Google does not have a way for businesses to schedule a greeting to automatically play at a certain time of day, like the busy message plays from 9 to 5 and the after hours message plays from 5 p.m. to 9 a.m. You must manually log into your account and select which message you want your callers to hear. There are other cloud-based services you can pay for where you can schedule different messages to play during certain hours, but again, they cost money. So if you're loving the fact that Google is free, put up with this minor inconvenience until they change it, which could be any day now, we hope. Okay, back to sound. Recording your voicemail and making it sound super. There are three ways to record a voicemail with Google Voice. One, using your computer. Two, calling it in over the telephone, using either your cell phone or a landline. Or three, using an MP3 or WAV file with your Google Voicemail on it. One, using your computer. If you're connecting to Google Voice via your computer to record your Google Voicemail, First, close every website and every program that you don't need to use while recording your voicemail. This will help to create the best environment for the best sound to be captured by Google. Next, turn up your microphone's volume, the microphone on your computer. You may have to test this by recording once and listening to how the voicemail sounds. Next, record in a quiet environment. Make sure to enunciate clearly. And if possible, I always recommend clients to use a high quality microphone and connect it to their computer to record. This will give a clearer, more powerful sound. Using a cell phone or landline. Using a cell phone to connect to Google to record a professional voicemail is almost like using two cloud-based systems to talk to each other, and that's not ideal. While it can be done, I recommend using a landline phone to record. If you find that you're not getting a clear connection when using either a cell phone or landline phone, try calling in the early morning when there tends to be less static on the phone lines. Again, record in a quiet environment, enunciate clearly, and try recording at different times of day to get better sound quality. Next, using an MP3 or WAV file. Of the three ways to record a Google voicemail, this is the most challenging, but it's my favorite because you have more control over sound. You can master the audio file to achieve a certain sound and raise and lower the volume prior to using it on Google Voice. This is what makes it sound better. Also, if you have a long voicemail, like up to one minute, you can eliminate breaths, background noise in your audio to help make this a more professional sounding voicemail. If you already have an MP3 or WAV file that you would like to use for your voicemail, it is possible to use it for your Google voicemail or any other voicemail. We've created a video that addresses this topic, so see the link in the video description below. Certainly, if you'd like for us to do this for you, give us a call or visit us online. We offer this as a service. If you do not already have an MP3 file, but would like to create one to use for your Google Voice, we've also created a video that addresses how to do this as well. It covers proper audio file recommended formatting. We guide you to free online software to help you and include the step-by-step -step directions you can take to successfully use your MP3 or WAV file. Music, to add or not to add music. Adding music to voicemail definitely makes it sound distinctive. We add music to voicemail all the time, but not to Google Voicemail. The reason is that adding music specifically to Google Voice and some other cloud-based voicemails make the voicemail sound a bit scratchy, not clear. While we have previously successfully added music to Google Voicemail, it's hard to say Google, um, it took a lot of work because we had to find the right music that would sound good on Google Voice. Hence, we don't add it to Google Voicemail. Other voicemail, yes, but not Google. So the bottom line is err on the side of not adding music. When you call the Google Voice number we provided below, you'll also hear how a voicemail sounds both with and without music. 
So I hope this helps you. At Ezra'sVoice.com, we create professional audio recordings for voicemails, on-hold messages, TV commercials, online videos, corporate narrations, and radio. If you would like for us to write and or record your voicemail, contact us at Ezra'sVoice.com or email Ezra at Ezra'sVoice.com or call in the USA 347-809-5482. We work with clients all over the globe.